So what we are talking about today is we are going to look at line integrals of vector fields. Okay, so one piece of information I want you to recall is we have calculated work before. If you remember, you took force and you dotted it with distance. Now, suppose that you have some vector field, which is defined by the following, P times I plus Q times J, add R times K. P, Q, R, those are all functions. They're not constants. They're all functions. And let's say that this is a continuous force field. It could be a gravitational force field. It could be an electric force field. We may want to calculate the work done in moving some particle along a smooth curve C. So we have this vector field. So if you think back to that Khan Academy video we watched, and then say you have some curve within the vector field, you want to know how much work is going to be done moving that particle along the curve through the vector field. Though. OK. So that leads us to a definition. Let f, like we already said, be a continuous vector field. force field. And it is defined on a smooth curve C. And that C is given by R of T. Then we say the line integral of F along C is the following. It's going to have different notation than yesterday. Similar, but not exactly the same. You're still going to have that C to show that it's a line integral. Yesterday, it was F of X, Y, DS, and the DS was how you could tell that it was a line integral. Now you're going to have a vector field, and then DR. What is another way to show that these are vectors besides putting a little marking on the top? Bolding them. bolding them. So most of the time you're going to see that those are bolded. The same. Here's how you calculate that. That's going to be the integral from A to B of F of R of T dotted with R prime of T dt. Another way you will see this is f dot t ds. This is the most common notation. So that's going to tell you that you need to use this formula for the line integral along c. OK, so then we're just going to do some examples. Find the work done by f of x, y, z is equal to negative 1 half x, negative 1 half y, 1 fourth on a particle moving along the helix defined by r of t is equal to cosine of t comma sine of t comma t. t is defined from 0 to 3 pi.
One thing I forgot to mention, up here when we wrote this definition, this is the way that you're going to calculate work. So when you're asked to calculate work, this is what you're calculating. So work then, I'm just going to recopy the line integral from above. We're going to need f of r of t and r prime of t. So r prime of t is going to be negative sine of t, cosine of t, 1. And then we need f of r of t. So negative 1 half x. x is cosine of t, though. So it'll be negative 1 half cosine of t negative one half y, but y is sine of t, so negative one half sine of t, and then z is just one fourth. So to calculate the work, we're going to integrate from 0 to 3 pi, and then we're going to take the dot product of these two vectors. This becomes one half cosine of t sine of t minus one half sine of t cosine of t plus one fourth. Which works out really nicely for us. It's just the integral of one fourth dt, which you should be able to tell will give us three fourths pi. That should be pretty straightforward. Question? Okay. Quick remark, something that you need to know. This is traditionally how you're going to calculate work. We may choose to reverse the path. The way to show that is negative c path is going in the opposite direction. When we do that, work will be the opposite value. So if we reverse the path, we will get the opposite value in work. Okay, here's our next example. We are going to evaluate the line integral along the curve C of f dot dr, where f is the following, x, y, i, plus y, z, j, add z, x, k. C is the curve defined by x equals t, y equals t squared, z equals t cubed, t is between 0 and 1. Okay, this is one that I would like you to do. So it's similar to the last problem, a similar setup. Take a few minutes and see if you can get through this one.
if and when you get to an answer, can you check with the person next to you and see if you all agree? Okay, did we get an answer? What did we get? I got 27 over 28. For those of you who want to see my work. Do you all agree? Anything that went wrong, was it just silly mistakes or was it not knowing what we were doing? Silly mistakes. Okay. Can we move on? Okay. We have one last note and then one last example and then we will be done with notes for today. Okay. This is another notation thing. So again, we said F is P times I plus Q times J plus R times K. Again, P, Q, and R being functions, not constants. And let's say that your R of T, or not let's say, it is, X is some function of T, Y is some function of T, and Z is some function of T. Then if we are taking the line integral of F dr, using the notation from before. That's the dot product of f of r, so p q r, dotted with r prime of t. So what I want to do is I want to take the dot product and see what that looks like. This then will be P times X prime of T plus Q times Y prime of T plus R times Z prime of T DT. So here's where that leads us. Line integral over the curve C of F dot DR Another way that you will sometimes see this written, it's a line integral over C. This becomes P dx. This becomes Q dy. This becomes R dz. So anytime that you see this, it's the same as this. It just means that you're calculating work. Okay, we have one last example to do. The last example, it's just to show you a new method I think that you haven't seen before when you're integrating that hopefully will make your lives a little bit easier. Okay, we're calculating work. F is defined by cosine x, sine of x. C is defined by R of T is equal to Ti add T squared J. T is between negative 1 and 2. Okay, so this is, we're going to calculate exactly the, the way that we did before. We're integrating from negative 1 to 2. We have f of r, so cosine of x, but x is t, so this will be cosine of t. Sine of x, but x is t, so sine of t, dotted with r prime of t, so 1 and then 2t. So 
So this ends up being cosine of t plus 2t sine of t dt. Okay, cosine of t, you obviously should know how to integrate. 2t sine of t. <coughs> integration by parts. Okay, is there anyone in the world that really likes integration by parts? You don't mind it? It's kind of okay, Brian, you can keep doing integration by parts. The rest of you that don't like it, I'm going to show you another way. It's called tabular integration. Have you heard that before? Okay. It is a whole lot nicer. So it's just going to apply to that term. Okay, so here's how tabular integration works. When you have your term that you would normally use integration by parts on, you need to split it up into two parts. Okay, One of the parts you are going to differentiate, and one you are going to integrate. So in our case, we have two parts, 2t and sine of t. The one that you are differentiating has to eventually get to 0. 2t, we differentiate, we get 2, then we get to 0. Sine of t, then, is what we're going to integrate. OK. So then here's what you do. You connect on a downward diagonal, and you flip signs. So the first one is positive, the next one is negative. So here's what that's going to look like. If I integrate cosine of t, I just get sine of t. This term will be negative because of that negative. So I get minus 2t cosine t. This one will be negative, but I have another negative, so plus 2 sine of t, and I'm evaluating from negative 1 to 2. And then the evaluating, I don't care about. I just wanted to show you how to do tabular. Tabular does not work for every single case where you would do integration by parts. Um, it does work as long as you can differentiate one part and get it to 0. But if you can't, then you're not going to be able to use tabular you'll have to do integration by parts. Do we get how this works? OK, this is going to be really helpful for you, because eventually we're going to get to things like x cubed sine of x. So it'll be a lot easier to do tabular than integration by parts. OK, any questions on calculating work? Uh, line integrals with vector fields, anything we did yesterday?